I remember hustling with the basics Dreaming about the day that I would make it Now they all say congratulations No cap shout at graduation I've been watching you for a Ten toes down. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are not new here, welcome back, Mark Game. It is Monday, August 5th. It is currently 11 13 a.m. I'm getting ready to head to the dentist. I have to get my tooth fixed. Last week, when I was off, I was chewing on a bottle cap and I was just chewing, 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 chewing down. If you guys remember, actually, I don't, I don't, was I a vlogger then? I think I was a vlogger. I think I was still living. I think I had just moved back home, I think, when I'm mistaken. But I had got my front two teeth bonded together and it chipped. The bond chipped, so therefore we're going today to get it back together. When I get a chance, I can do y'all a little close up because right now I'm too, about to be two minutes late. So I need to hurry up and get down the street. But yeah, we gotta get these front, this front left big tooth put back together so my smile can be back right. Because right now, you can't really tell that it's chipped. But I, could, I know it is chipped, but we can't go out like this. But I just wanted to introduce the vlog. As you seen last night, I got up off the couch and I made me some breakfast for dinner. And it was simply delicious. I wish I would have just made my grits with water instead of the milk. They were like a little bit too creamy, but they were still good. But other than that, breakfast was good last night. And I, let, I slept right on that couch. I started watching this show called Presume Innocent. Uh, one, of, one of you guys suggested, I forgot exactly who suggested it, but I started watching it last night. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. I, I think I need to go back and re like restart an episode so I can make sure I know exactly what's going on. Because I'm the type of person, when I watch TV, I have to watch like the first three episodes in order to even see if I'm going to like it. Well, first two at least. By the third one, I should be able to know if I'm going to watch it or not. So I think I'm on episode two, some part some part episode two. So yeah, I'm going to keep you updated on that. But we got to Dennis. We got to get this two fixed.
I personally don't feel like this is my place or my. Good afternoon, everybody. It is like, what, two days later now. It is August the 8th, it's Thursday. It's 1.18 p.m. I'm just getting out to bed, really. I've been up for a minute, but I have some plans to get up today. But y'all, this is like my first like week back to work. And the past three days, it hasn't, it hasn't even been four days. The past three days have kicked my butt. I mean, kicked it. I just don't. I have no capacity to leave this house. I'm so tired. I'm drained. I'm depleted. Most utterly depleted. Absolutely depleted. I was supposed to get up today. I said, yeah, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go thrifting today. I need to get my content. I need to take these clothes to the to the thrift store anyway to give them away. I got a whole tub of clothes and shoes back there that I'm gonna give you. Speaking of, I need to go over and get that jumpsuit out of there so I can take it. I'm gonna make a jacket out of that. But I'm so tired, I couldn't get out to bed. I said, yeah, I'm gonna get up and finish reading my book. I have not picked that book up since y'all saw me reading that book at that table. I'm still on day one. I didn't get past the introduction. I'm just so bad. I don't, I don't like reading, that's the problem. I don't like reading, I'm trying to get myself to read because I wanna read this book. So we gonna try to read that book today at work. But that's not why we're here. We're here to unbox these shoes that I showed y'all me bringing in the house two days ago. I didn't even open them. But I got them off Amazon. They are some Doc Martens. They were on sale for $70. They were in my like wanted wish list thing on Amazon and I got them. Let's unbox them. I feel like this is a hot shoe. I feel like this is gonna be good in the fall time. Going to church, casual brunch or something, you know. Gotta fluff the tassel on the front just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like this is gonna be a good shoe. Now, this is a little different. When I was looking at the pictures on Amazon, I was so confused about the insole. The insole looks like cardboard, but it's not like wood. It's like an actual insole. Oh, it's nice and soft. It's not hard. The um, actual material of the shoe. I think it look good, what y'all think? This was some nice light wash jeans and a white shirt or something. Mmm. Yeah, I like these. These is hot. This was a good, this was good to my collection. I like these. Yep, so got that. Love these. Love these down. Add these to the, I don't I don't know why I'm on Doc so bad right now, but I really am. And I'm not mad at it. Doc's Martin, they don't do Doc Martin, they don't do bad, they don't do bad in my book. But yeah, that's that. Now let's get to what I really want to talk about. Y'all, I want to move out of Detroit. I want to leave here. I was talking about this on live, on Lori Live. Oh, by the way, I took my braids out. But that's my business. But uh, yeah, I look a mess. I look a hot mess. But I want to move out of Detroit. I feel like there is nothing here for me besides my family, my church, my friends, yeah. But as far as influencing opportunities and co creating content and networking with different people, I feel like there is no outlet here like there is no our space for opportunity to grow as a content creator and if it is the people that are here they're very like standoffish not talking about like Dame or Milan nothing like, like that but even I, I don't feel like there's no other like content creators that I know about so it's like I feel like in Atlanta there's a space opportunity there's, there's creator events and in Miami there's creator events even in Dallas there's creator events like I'm not saying I want to move to those places but I just feel like being a, a content creator and trying to grow as a content creator there is no space opportunity in detroit because detroit as a collective we are people i'm not gonna say we but people in detroit they're very standoffish and they're very like to themselves like it's like i got out the mud like i see you 
trying to get out the mud. So you gonna work just as hard as I worked. And it's like I feel like if we all do trying to do the same thing, why not like bring somebody up with you? You know, know what I'm saying? Like it's it's sad to say it, but Detroit is very wishy washy, and I don't know. But even that day, I still feel like there is no content creators in Detroit, and if they are, they're like somebody that's like me that's like like that's like. like like that's just trying to start out to be a content creator. There's nobody that's already established that can give me a blueprint on how they got where they are today or whatever the case may be. But I just, that's, I've been thinking about like move. I want to move, but I, of course I would have to have a job lined up. Y'all know me. I ain't trying to have no job at all. I'm trying to do this full time, but that's neither here nor there. That, yeah, that's the topic for a different day. But yeah, like I'm grateful to be from Detroit, but it's at the same time, it's like Detroit is a very odd place to be in this field. That's one thing I wanted to talk about. I want to give out a huge shout out to one of, of my subscribers. Her name is Ashley. She wrote me on Instagram this past week and she was like, oh, not you came in Dallas and I wasn't able to meet you. You're, like, you're my favorite YouTuber. And she gave me so much encouragement and I just want to shout her out right here, right now. So what up though, Ashley? She was like, I followed you since you went to Cancun and I've been hooked to your videos ever since you've been making me laugh and stuff like that. It's just so heart felt when y'all reach out to me and y'all y'all give me that reassurance that I'm actually on the right track and I'm doing the right thing because sometimes I downplay myself I don't give myself great like I was I, I always say this I don't give myself grace and I also realize I don't celebrate my small wins and small, and small victories I'm very grateful for my community that I have built I built this channel by myself I have gotten shout outs from various people but other than that I have put in the work the past two years and I'm here declaring it today that I, you know, I've worked hard for this, so this is not me. Yeah, I just worked hard for this. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I worked hard for this. I've been consistent. I was doing two videos a week, and I got monetized in a year, and hit 1,000 uh, subscribers in a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have 2,000 subscribers the following year. So, like, it's, I'm, I'm doing the work, and I'm reaping what I'm, like, I'm reaping what, I, what I've sown. If that makes sense. Yeah. Also, I forgot to show you my teeth. So this is the new tooth over here. This one, right there, yeah. And then he filed this one down. Sorry, my lips a little ashy. But he filed this one down so that it could look more natural. So I'm grateful that that's in there. I need to get veneers. I lied. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all today because I have not talked to this camera in about two days. I feel like that's, like that's so not good. Like I need to be the creator that I need to be. Like I need to get out that bed. But this job is tiring. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get up. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm sleepy even in this moment right now. But yeah, that's that. That's that's what's been on my mind these past couple days. Also, I had a okay. I'm not begging. But y'all as my subscribers, as my supporters, I thought it might be like one of these kind of moments. But y'all can tell me if I'm wrong or not. I wanted to do a fundraiser with Double Good Popcorn. A few of y'all told me that I should do it. But I'm, I was, I've am was, i been scared to actually say something about it because like I'm not one. I, like I told y'all, I'm not used to people doing nice things for me. So, y'all know I'm going to Bali. Y'all know I want y'all to bring you. I want to bring y'all all the content I can bring y'all when I can. I want to do the fundraiser to see if y'all will help. You know, help your boy get to Bali or help your boy get his merch or whatever the case may be. Because I do want. I do still have to get my team together. Comment down below if you want to be in my team. I will have to put you in a group chat on Instagram or some whatever like that to do this. Because I do want to get a team and get this uh, merch out. Probably like by my birthday. Um, I still, I want 5k subscribers by my birthday. Let's put that out there in the atmosphere. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm actually going to go write that down on a uh, sticky note and put it on my mirror somewhere so I can see this, so I can manifest this because, uh, yeah, I need to make, make this stuff happen. But I wanted to do a fundraiser and I was talking to one of my friends. She was like, Amari, just post it. Like, you never know what, what people might do for you, whatever like that. And me personally, I don't. I don't want to come off as, as if I'm begging because, you know, that's just not me. I'm not a beggar. I'm not one that goes on my way to say, oh, hey, can you do this for me? Oh, I need somebody to do this. If, if, if nobody don't do this, it's not going to happen type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the type of person because I'm always, I'm so driven to the point where if I need something done, I'm going to make it happen one way or another. But I felt if somebody else told me that I should do it. So I'm coming to y'all now and getting y'all y'all opinion on it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you will help. If not, then I love y'all still, like dearly love y'all.
Love y'all, love y'all. Hearts, 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 hearts. But no, seriously, if you guys would love to support me, just comment down below and let me know and I can get the, the link posted and everything like that. Cause you know, like I'm not dry big and like I'm not one that's gonna come on camera and drop big. I'd never do that. Cause that's just weird. Cause why are you dry big and you're a whole dog? But yeah, that's where I've been at. As you guys can see, my skin is breaking out. Got a big one here and one right there and a little bit of ones across my face. But yeah, I just wanna check in for today. I probably won't pick the camera back up until tomorrow. I have nothing to do today. It's 1.30. I go to work at 4.30, so I have about an hour for us time for me to actually, an hour and a half for us time for me to leave and go to work today. Oh, if you guys are new here, I work inside the plant. If you couldn't tell, I work for Chrysler. I build cars for a living until YouTube pays me full time or content pays me full time. But yeah, that's where I am in this situation. Um, yeah, I just want to say I love y'all. I do. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I love that. I love what we built. I love the new community. I love the old community. I love the community as a whole. I just love y'all. Hey y'all, it is two days later. I am coming to y'all in my most vulnerable state right now. I've been in the bed all day. It's like five something. I've been in the bed all day. I fell into a little funk yesterday. I don't know why. After I hung up my little sticky notes around the house, I drifted off into this little, I don't know, I guess I don't know, but something was subconsciously in the back of my brain that just clicked and just set me off. I don't know what it was. But I had a pretty bad day. It wasn't really a bad day, but it was a bad day yesterday. Um, the air was very much a lot last night at work and then getting off work. It was a lot. It was just too much going on. I honestly don't know where it stemmed from. Maybe because of the stuff I've been going through silently. I mean, I've been talking about it with like my people that I'm close with to talk about. Um, I haven't said nothing on the vlog about it because it's just not nothing I want to have on the internet or whatever. But uh, maybe that had like finally took a little talk. If you pause, if you have noticed, I've loved talking in this bathroom lately in these past couple videos, but yeah, um, I caught off work today. I mentally could not be there. It was, it, it would have been my last day of the week, but I mentally could not be there. So I just decided to just call off. I was, I was trying to call off and provision was made to the point where I was able to call off, but yeah, the trip I had planned for this month is canceled as of now. Well, as it's canceled for the month, but I am going somewhere else for a day day trip soon so that's gonna take place in place of that so yeah that's that um i just came to say how i've been feeling like I've, I've been in this little funk all day all night and i'm kind of like starting to feel better i just put me a piece of pizza in the air fryer i think i'm gonna go visit my grandma and go shopping at her house because i need to get some stuff out of her house because i need some uh, garbage bags paper towel and Maybe just garbage bag of paper towel. I got tissue. And I just want to spend some time with her since I'm off today. Since I called off. Spend some time with her today. And yeah. So I'm about to get in the shower because I've been in the bed all day. The only thing I did today was I got up, I peed, I brushed my teeth. I turned the air conditioner on. Got back in the bed. Yeah. That was my that was my Friday as of right now. I'm about to eat a piece of pizza. As I just said, I really want some wing fellas. And or some sweet water wings. But that's in a totally opposite direction of where my grandma live at. So I don't know what I'm about to do. But yeah, I just want to check in with y'all. I ain't talked to y'all in two, almost two days. It wasn't even recording, girl. Go no. back, go back in there and do it again. For what? You, you got some man. Go back, go back, go back. License plate thing. It's a ticket, ain't it? I got a ticket. For what? Can I move back home? What's up, that 
I didn't know it was a lie. What if I actually did want to move back home? What? Huh? What? I said, what if I actually did want to move back home? Put it in that basement. You can't get that Ain't that much furniture to put down there. I'm not a conscious table in the bed. She don't want to move back home, y'all. I ain't moving back anyways. What? I said, I ain't moving back anyways. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You don't want me to come back home. It's okay. No, you don't want to come back either. You, that, you got that right. Y'all, we're going to make me some seasoning. Let's see what she got me. When you told me you had it from like two, like two weeks ago? Yeah. She got me some oregano. You can have that chicken season if you want. Take the whole thing? No, put that on Why you bring it out if you ain't gonna share it? I said you can have half of it. No, share me and give me the whole thing. I ain't got you one. Oh, garlic powder. We love that in our in our household. Oh, Cajun style. We love, oh, yeah, love that. You made me want to eat. You might maybe go home and actually think about cooking something. Lots of garlic and parsley. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't, I don't really use oregano, but I find something to go with. It's a pasta or something. Uh-uh. Why I can't have it? And then what? I see you can have some of it. What, what you gonna put in? What you gonna put in? we get you a sandwich bag. A sandwich bag is wild. You got some at home you can pour it in. I don't, actually. I mean, I do got I do got some some jars I bought off Amazon. And I never put some in, so maybe I could. Well, then get some of them, pour it in there, and take them. Home. You making it hard, boy. You go. Why don't you get your son back? I got that old jar. That's not fair. And I don't know when I'm gonna break the store by another. That's not fair. I can set that watch because he or he had the same type of one that I didn't do not do not give me a headache. So you know it's the same type of one. Because I already know it's the same type of one. Because he had a little one and they gave me nothing but a headache. Oh. Praying for him. One thing I'm going to do is come over here and shop. <laughs> we got three rolls of paper towel, six garbage bags, a bag of seasoning, and we got some olive oil spray. I'm ready. You're going to be shaming yourself. Never. Why are they shameful? You ought to be. Not me. Uh-uh. Why, why spin in this wicked world when I can just come get it for free? Oh, is that the way it is? Absolutely. You hear how, how he, how he put Most, me down? Put you down? I'm lifting you up, honey. No, uh, that you tell me getting it for free, it ain't free. Yes, it is. In my, in my book, it's free. I mean, you you paid it all. But I'm just going to take it for free. Oh, I know the odds look stacked up against you. Oh yeah. And it seems there's no way out. I know the issue seems unchangeable. And yet there's no reason to shout. They were just trying to get rid of me without trying to get rid of me. I think it was God. Listen, listen, listen. I'm trying to travel the world and do what I need to do, okay? One thing about me, I'm going to catch a flight. Once a month, for sure.
Say hey to the vlog, everybody. Drop some, drop some uh, blue hearts in the chat. That's it. There we go. There we go. Hey, y'all. Y'all don't catch me on live. Y'all better catch me on live. It's still coming. I really love my Martians. I love y'all. Hearts. I pray that this is actually copyrighted music and I'm not going to get in trouble. I'll just do this for fun. I mean, I do it for fun, but I want to make it work for y'all time. You know what I mean? I want to make my balls work for y'all time. Okay, y'all. As y'all seen, I just made some wings and fries. I'm currently getting ready to bake a cake. The people on the live decided that I should bake a cake tonight. So we're gonna bake a banana pudding cake. We're gonna try it out. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is my first time ever doing anything like this, but I feel like it should come out good. I did have some banana pudding fluff in my freezer, but I didn't think about that in time because I could have just added that into the cake. But oh, I don't. We gonna we gonna we gonna make it work, and I'm gonna show y'all the final product. But I'm making it on live, so they gonna watch it live. Y'all gonna watch the replay, and y'all go see for yourself how good it turned out. But I'm gonna show y'all how good it turned out too. So, yeah. Hey, let's say welcome to the good life. When y'all see this footage, you gonna like, oh, I just watched this in real time. This ain't doing nothing. Come on, towel, man. Eh? Okay. As y'all just seen, I did the toothpick method on a cake. I'm still on live, and they told me that the cake is done. I have not baked the cake in so long. This jazz music is so loud in the background. But I have not baked the cake in so long. But we're going to let it cool down, and we're going to ice it together. And it's going to be so good. You can't, can't, can't have your cake and eat it too, huh? I don't have no cake pan. I just got a plate. It's so good. Snap now! Hey! Woo! Hey, what? Oh! 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 I know that's right. Let's get a little piece. I'll just try it. We're gonna see how it tastes. It's, it's still a little warm, but. It's very soft. Very, very, very soft. Definitely another pudding. Mm. Let's give a waffle. <laughs> it's getting a waffle. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's good. It's just soft. I don't know. It's good. That's not giving like pound cake. It's giving soft like a waffle. I don't know. Let's see it though. Let's need some ice and cookies. It's gonna be real good. Ooh, with some vanilla ice cream. All right, everybody. It is the end of this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. I am currently getting ready to go to bed. I had a good time on live tonight. The cake was good. It was interesting, but good. It was fun making that all off with y'all and cooking dinner with y'all tonight. Um, this was very like an unproductive vlog. I don't really have much to say about this vlog. We were very chill, got my teeth fixed, and went to the store a couple times. And yeah, but I just came to end the vlog and say that I love y'all so much for y'all love and support. If you are interested in helping out with the fundraiser that I've talked about, it is listed down below in the description box. Um, you are not obligated to help me. But if you choose to help me and you want to donate to the cost, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for your love and support towards me. Um, we have built a beautiful community over here, the Martian family, and honestly, I could not have asked for anything better than the people that I have right now for me in this season, which are you guys. So I just want to say that I love y'all so much, and I appreciate y'all for all that y'all do. I took off my shirt, y'all. I'm about to get in the bed. <laughs> I'm about to take this shirt off to get in the bed. But I just going to say I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Always remember this we from Venus, we from Mars. <sighs> I love y'all so much. Seriously. I'll see y'all in the next video. Good night. I'm gonna be here. Maybe I should have fallen.